Hey, what's happening, everybody? Tommy C here, Shot to the Point News. Listen, I'm sorry, I'm I'm not feeling up to uh, um, making a podcast. I simply don't have the energy. Uh, but uh, what I do have is the energy to do this because I think it's really important. Uh, it has to do with the sort of Pokemon Fedmeister uh, Angel Kimmy uh, thing that that I think, in a way, if you see, look at the way this is titled. Why is no one talking about Angel's Kimmy experience with Fedmeister? And I think in a roundabout way. I don't know uh, for a fact. I haven't asked him, but whether it's intended or not, I I think it's important to cover uh, because I I think one of the worst things that mainstream journalists do, and keep in mind, I don't consider myself a journalist in any, I don't particularly even like journalists all that much. Uh, And and this is one of the reasons that omission is sometimes just as dishonest as a bull, bold-faced lie, strategic misinformation omission is 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 a powerful weapon to keep your agenda going and i i wouldn't want anybody to think that trust me for this sort of silly entertainment drama news uh but to get it right and i think nick diori has done a really good job of sort of standardizing in a roundabout way the way internet news is brought or the way uh, celebrity internet news is brought out and i think Tipster just made a great contribution to that. So in a way, why is nobody talking? You know, why is nobody talking about this? And what he's talking about is we have, uh, for the most part, defended uh, Fedmeister being sort of a guy that kind of I don't know, just is bad with women, but you know, being uh, someone who assaults people or, or sexual harasser, uh, we've we've gone on and said that's a bridge too far. Uh, to, to call him that and protected him and you know with the information that I had at the time I completely uh, I have no problem with many of the statements I made now there is some new information out there and it turns out that it's not that new at all it just it, for some reason it wasn't put in to any of the plethora of documents again, that was and, and streams are going or on against Fed and this is the most damning information. Now, Fed has gone on record, as some of my critics might point out, uh, that, that he admitted to being a creep. Well, I got to be perfectly honest with you. If you're cutting deals with Pokemon to shout you out, um, I, I, be, after you know she has basically thrown you under the bus, I have a little tr- you know, trusting your credibility, even when it comes to you. So it, I, it just sounded to me at the time like somebody who was absolutely desperate to get online and make a living again after they had been destroyed and manipulated. And this particular story that tips to bring up does not change the extremely manipulative, orient, manipulative and business oriented um, woman that Pokimane is who does it under a shield or an illusion of being the girl next door. This doesn't change her story at all. It really is more about the news community. And I want to show you some, what, what Tipster did here. And I think what he did is basically call out the news community as politely as humanly possible. Because it does appear that Fedmeister certainly has crossed, his, crossed the line. The bizarre part about it is not only weren't we talking about it, neither were they. So I don't know how to solve that mystery. I don't think we're going to get to the bottom of it today. But I think it's really important to talk about things like omission and why we don't report the things we do, especially when it's up. It, it's, it's this particularly serious. And I do have an explanation. And I even think I have some circumstantial evidence to uh, back up uh, uh, what I'm about to tell you. So let's, let's listen to Tipster think that the guy based on those initial allegations i don't think that the guy is a sexual harasser and he definitely uh, isn't a sexual predator in my view having said that we've had some new allegations kind of resurface i say resurface because they were already kind of brought to public attention when this whole thing initially went down but for whatever reason nobody is talking about this particular set of allegations and that's what i want to bring to your attention here i'm actually going to direct your attention to a tweet here by nicholas diorio and he stated the following This comment made by Angels Kimmy, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, is probably the worst allegation from
from Fed, and it's weird. In my opinion, this crosses a line if true. And he links to a video, which we'll check in a second here. TLDR, her allegation is that he walked in the room, spread her legs, and laid his head on her crotch. This was not mentioned in like 50 pages of Google Docs, and credit to uh, Repzilla for showing me this. To my knowledge, he has not responded to this. And that's the interesting thing here. Of all the people who've covered this story, including the people from offline TV, the only people I've ever seen comment on this is Nicholas Diorio, in this case, Repzilla, and Tamimi. Now, just for full transparency here, I definitely heard Nick. Uh, uh, he's in my uh, newsroom Discord. Uh, I've uh, recently been do doing some gaming streams with Augie. I've been talking to the community a little more than I normally do. So I, I full transparency, I uh, was 100% aware of this. And I still decided uh, not to follow it up. And I'll I'll give you my reasons for it. And then I'll give you my evidence that uh, I'm telling the truth. I, uh, look, really there's, there's two separate reasons for it. If you overload, and this is a business reason, if you overload your crowd with silly, um, uh, your your fans with 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 silly drama trying to milk every single thing of it right if you're that money motivated eventually your fan base turns on you uh it, it, um and it's just like with the Pokemon story the, the, there was something new every day and I think uh, I've decided to uh, even less than some of my uh, competitors or colleagues to roll back. On stuff like that, if it's just uh, um, if it's just not that interesting to me, or it just appears that I'm milking things, the other aspect of is is getting leafied off the platform, and we we know about the twelve somehow videos that were, had Pokemon in, in the title of his video, and I would say only twenty percent of them were even critical. Uh, and he got a four million sub channel, bow, like that. Um, so I, I am very concerned with, with things like that. You're seeing the thing with the quartering right now where he made a legitimate criticism of a, a female reporter or excuse me, reporters, really that's going too far. A, a reviewer, a professional video game reviewer. And he pointed out that she didn't play major portions of the game by own admission. And that is being framed by some pretty powerful blue jet, jet check marks in that industry as harassment. So I've got to make calls all the time and I decided not to over milk certain situations I don't normally talk about the boyfriend girlfriend stuff so the son thing came up the rumor that uh, they might be and I, I thought it was interesting enough to pull up and I thought enough time had went by where I could report it but just to be a certain bit safe I put it on the other channel the news channel and uh you know, because I wanted to get that warmed up again, and I and I still do, but I, I and I guess that's what I'm saying. But that's my explanation. It's not a question of omitting anything. I have to admit, after watching what Tipster put out, I uh, it, had I seen Angel Kimmy's explanation, I I would have reported immediately, and because it's very sincere, it's uh, there's no reason not to believe it. And I starting to give even <laughs> Fedmeister a little bit cre little more credibility about being a creep because this crosses the line. Absolutely. And I don't get it, it's not like a Pokemon situation. I don't get the feeling that she's she has an ulterior motive in getting this guy. I th and, and she does explain in this video that Pokemon had contacted her to come forward with her story, which is interesting in itself. But I, I, I am shocked with all these Google documents that it hadn't come out. And I think that's why we missed it. And by the time we got it, I thought we might be seen as either milking it, either by the community and or YouTube itself. So I got to make judgment calls. And that's it. So not every omission, so to speak, is uh, to, to get my agenda across that men are victims and women are. And I think this is a case, a clear cut case where, where a woman's a victim. Now, that being said, this is certainly not a total... Uh, collapse or agenda driven thing by the commentary or news news commentary community whatever whatever you want to call it uh, certainly um, big big props to Nick 
Repzilla, apparently Repsion to Mimi, uh, for getting this side of the story out. So this isn't a collapse. I just wanted to make it abundantly clear that are things omitted? Yes. Are they omitted to protect our agendas? Not on shot from the point. No way. I've got no problem and had no problem apologizing in the past for getting things wrong. And my personal agendas of what my worldview is not the most important thing um, to motivate me to make videos. Uh, my motivation is certainly the truth. And I think, uh, I don't know if you can leave this part out and have it be truthful. Can I leave some things out? Can I let the Hassan thing out? Absolutely. Do I do things because I want to cash in? Because I got to pay bills like everybody else? Absolutely. But as far as my personal feelings, you can find them out in my podcast and my personal agenda and the news team. Uh, we don't do that. And well, I'll, I'll gladly take an L if um, I'm wrong and somebody's been hurt. So I, this part is near and dear to my <laughs> near and dear because it also talks about something I've, I've talked about before that tends to aggravate and offend some women. Uh, you know, my little rule about not necessarily being uh, friends with your female acquaintances. I don't think that's good. I'm, I, I don't, I, my personal experience with it, it causes problems, kind of like it does for Fed. And after watching Angel Kimmy, she's a little more traditional, like I am when it comes to this. That Things that are intimate, but not necessarily uh, sexual in nature, uh, are for boyfriend and girlfriend. And somebody you're having an intimate relationship, that includes cuddling, hugging, uh, leaning on, and in my personal case, opening up to. Those are things for people with relationships. And if you do it any other way, well, no, we can be just friends and brothers and sisters. You get in a lot of trouble. Now, it appears from what she says, she's a more traditional like me. She's not comfortable with that. I'm not comfortable with it because of experience. I used to believe in that BS. We're, we're, we're like brother and sister. Yeah, right. I just wasn't honest, honest enough with myself. And I, I have a feeling my sister wasn't being that honest either. I think we we're just being dumb kids. But listen to what she says. This is interesting. And I looked at him and I'm like, what the fuck? No. And he was like, no, come on, let's cuddle. And he's like, it, it's not that big of a deal. Let's just cuddle. And I clearly, I clearly remember saying no. I clearly remember being uncomfortable with this. I don't cuddle with my guy friends and I never have in my life cuddled with a guy friend before. Ever. Ever. <laughs> um, I barely even cuddled with the guys I dated at that point. I never had any serious relationships. I just never found anyone to date seriously. Anyway, that's a story for another time. <laughs> um, so I remember being very uncomfortable and saying no, and he eventually was very insistent, and so we cuddled. I was little spoon, he was big spoon. It was extremely awkward. I hated it, we never did it again. All right, if that's true, it's crossing the line. She, it, it goes, uh, she said no. She said, no, are, are you guys get like, why wasn't this in the Google Docs? I have my suspicions, but I'm not, I'm not ready to say why she wasn't used as an example. I know why she was contacted, but I'm starting to have, get a feeling. And I, I, I'm not ready to say that because I think it, 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 it's a bit of a stretch at this stage, but let's go back to the other thing. A lot of women are upset with me over this. They, they think it somehow means that they're cut out of uh, uh, being in the drama community. I would, I would cut them out. Um, she doesn't do that. Type. She's a little more traditional. And uh, she doesn't cuddle with her friends. I don't cuddle with my female friends because I have acquaintanceships. I'm married. And I've been doing this for uh, long before I got married even the first time. No. Those... Intimacy is for people that are intimate with each other. And the reason for that is, and you can see the culture clash here, Fed comes from a situation where everybody's friends and sisters and we sleep in each other's bed. Then you find somebody like her that, no, that's for boyfriends. Trouble is afoot. Trouble's afoot. It just gets you in trouble. There's no reason to have an intimate female friend or male friend, if you're a female, if there's not 
a relation if you're not pursuing a relationship. And I think it just gets you in trouble. Fed might have thought, well, I do it with the other girls. It's okay. Why can't I do it with her? Well, she because because she's first a she said no, and b she doesn't she doesn't she doesn't view the opposite sex that way. And to the reason not to engage in this is to get yourself in trouble. If maybe Fed maybe he was allowed to lay on women's crotches in the other house, considering what we've heard about what goes on in there, it's not out of the realm of possibility. But it's definitely crossing the line. After seeing this part here, this is what motivated me to make this video. And uh, I, I suppose I'd be lying. I, I'm not going to apologize. I don't necessarily uh, feel shame. But I did hear about it prior to this. But watching her is what really motivated to get this out. Because, uh, again, I, I think she's telling the truth. Um, it all connects. Uh, it, it, it makes me believe that, that Fed was probably not a, not a great guy. And uh, I don't think too many people over there at Offline TV are the best, for that matter. Here she is. So Fed comes in the door, and I'm laying down. Um, if I can, like, picture this for you guys, like, the bed is like this. The pillow's here. And then I think, like, one girl was, like, here. And I just remember laying down here at the, at the bottom left corner with my knees up. Um, anyway, so then Fed comes in the room and he wants to lay down too. He sits on the bed. He wants to lay down. Um, and then he, this, this is so, this is so strange for me to talk about on the internet. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> anyway, I, this is so weird. Um, he opened my legs and put his head on my crotch. I was wearing pants and everything, like, I, that just never happened to me before. Um, and then I was, I remember being so overwhelmed. I was, I, I didn't know what to do. I was laying there and I was in a group of people, my friends, and I'm like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. And I was just laying there. Um, and then he takes my ankle and puts it on his groin. I said that really casually because it was really hard to say. Uh, anyway, that only lasted for like a split second because I immediately moved my foot off because um, I was not okay with that. Um, and that moment was the moment that like, that moment was the moment. That was the moment. <laughs> that was the moment. That, that, that I really, that, that I, that was the moment that really like shook me a lot. Poor thing. Uh, I, I mean, I, I don't, you know, it, it's tough to say she's doing this for clout. She wasn't even added to the, again, plethora of documents that were put over this, this whole thing. Uh, when the situation was brought up again, she didn't say, look at me, remember my story. The story makes sense. And I'm sorry that we left it out. And I'm sorry to the shot from the point people, the people that counted me that I didn't get this out right away. I, I just thought, yeah, I've done, I've covered that too much. I don't want to get leafy. And uh, I also don't want to be accused of milking. Um, all right. You know, maybe the guy's creepy. Nick's talking about it. It's okay. But when I saw this, I felt really motivated to, to, to talk to you. And, um, I, 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 my heart goes out to this very, very nice girl. Uh, she appears that way, and I, I hope she becomes the next Pokemon. But yeah, and 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 is a sincere uh, a person unlike Pokemon. Uh, that being said, hats off to Tipster. Why is nobody talking about this? Now I can't speak for Augie or anybody else, and maybe Augie covered this, uh, and he's already uploaded in the time that I recorded this. I can only speak for us. And hats off to Tipster for uh, I, I, again. I don't know if he meant to call the community out, but he kind of did. And hats off to people that didn't have a problem talking about this. Uh, this is something that I would definitely cover. And uh, this was, I just want to make this abundantly clear that it wasn't agenda driven. You know, at the end of the day, I, I don't think my agenda matters. When it comes to, you know, stories of this magnitude, it's important that they get reported correctly. And strategic omissions are not there. And again, will I make omissions in the future? Yeah, uh, for, for a multitude of reasons. That would just make this video 
already too long, much longer than it already is, and it probably already is too long. Uh, but you know, I, I still have a lot of faith in my uh, competitors and colleagues to get these things right. And a lot of that is because Nicholas Diorio has, um, I, I think, reined a lot of people in. You know, the truth matters, even when it's silly gossip drama. And because, uh, you know, we're talking about people's lives here and livelihoods. And whether we went to some kind of journalism school, we have a, a moral duty and responsibility to get it right. And if we get it right, somebody gets canceled, that's not our problem. But if we get it wrong, somebody gets canceled. That is about the worst thing that can happen. I hope you sub me. I hope you sub tipster. I hope you sub people in our, my community. If you enjoy my content, I don't know when I'll be doing my next stream, but as soon as I feel better, I'll be doing this stuff. Thank you so much. I don't know why you want to treat me.